Natural resources form the basis to support all forms of life on planet Earth. Land and water constitute the primary natural resources essentially required to meet the multiple needs of mankind and other living beings on Earth. The Eastern Ghats mountain range of the country is a chain of broken low ranges along the Bay of Bengal starting from the state of Odisha in the north up to Tamil Nadu in the south primarily inhabited by tribal community. The Eastern Ghats region, though bestowed with rich and diversified natural resources, yet suffers from various land degradation problems due to shifting cultivation, deforestation, mining activities and other socio-economic constraints. As per the harmonized data based on land degradation, 17.07 million hectare land area is suffering from various forms of land degradation in the eastern region. The economy of the region is mainly rural and agrarian with uneven agricultural growth, low per capita income, inadequate infrastructural facilities, geographical isolation, unexploited natural resources, lack of private investments which are the major concerns for livelihood security. Considering the severity and peculiarity of problems in the Eastern Ghats region, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR, established a research center in Koraput district of Orissa state during June 1992 under the aegis of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun. The new office come laboratory building and residential complex of the research center was inaugurated by the Honorable Dr. S. Ayappan, Secretary DARE and DG ICAR, on the 21st of November 2010, in the presence of Dr. A. K. Singh, DDG NRM ICAR, Dr. V. N. Sharda, Director CSW CRTI, Mr. P. R. Patil, District Collector, Dr. K. P. Gore, the then head of the center, and other dignitaries. The primary mandate of the Koraput Research Center is to develop suitable soil and water conservation technologies to tackle land degradation problems in general and shifting cultivation in particular for enhancing productivity of all primary production systems to improve livelihood and environmental security in the Eastern Ghats region. To accomplish this mandate, the thrust areas of research have been organized into seven research programs, namely water erosion appraisal in the Eastern Ghats region, conservation measures for sustainable production systems, hydrological behavior of watersheds for conservation planning, rehabilitation of areas affected by mass erosion, participatory integrated watershed management, socio-economic analysis and policy development for watershed management, and human resource development and technology transfer. The research center is well equipped with laboratories, a library, an exhibition hall, a conference hall, a meteorological observatory, a training hostel, a guest house, and residential quarters to accomplish its mandate effectively. The research center has a well laid out research farm of 110 hectares at Maliguda, which is about 8 kilometers from the main office, for conducting research and demonstration on resource conservation technologies. Over a period, the research center has developed a large number of cost-effective conservation measures for enhancing the productivity of arable and non-arable lands in the region. The center has developed a soil loss tolerance limit map of the Orissa state. This map shows that water-induced erosion is a serious problem in the region. Studies on the shifting cultivation continuously for five years have revealed that the deterioration in the soil quality decreased the organic carbon from 0.97% to 0.42% with 33.2% runoff 
an average annual soil loss of 34.8 tons per hectare. This in turn reduced the productivity of rice by 19%, finger millet by 72% and ginger by 50%. To use resources efficiently and enhancing the productivity of crops, ragi with pigeon pea intercropping system was found to be more remunerative over traditional cropping system for reducing runoff by 29%, soil loss by 41% and increasing the yield of crops by 76% over farmers practice. Vegetative barrier of sambuta grass has been found to be an eco-friendly and effective measure for soil and water conservation on sloping arable and non-arable lands and helps in reduced runoff and soil loss by 64% and increased yield of ragi by 34% over farmer's practice. The multi-tier cropping system comprising of ginger and pigeon pea intercropping in papaya and glyricedia on field buns has been found to be effective in reducing runoff and soil loss by 55% yielding annual returns of 7.5 lakh rupees per hectare with soil health over traditional monocropping of ragi in the region. Lowlands of the Eastern Ghats are locally called Jhola lands. Hydrology of these lands indicated that base flow account for 41% and surface flow account for 31% of the total rainfall and has a great potential of water harvesting for assured irrigation leading to increased cropping intensity and productivity of crops. Jhola Kundi is a low cost effective water harvesting technique with depth varying from 2 meters to 4 meters and a diameter of 3 meters and can irrigate 0.5 hectares vegetable cropped area during the rubby season. Paddle operated pump, locally called Krishak Bandhu pump, are being used to lift water from Jhola Kundi. This in turn can enhance the cropping intensity and income significantly and was found to be most promising for the resource poor tribal farmers of the region. The center has undertaken several programs sponsored by various central and state government ministries such as Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Rural Development, Ministry of Water Resources etc. for effective dissemination and demonstration of developed technologies at farmers field following watershed approach. Results from the Kokri Guda watershed have revealed that various conservation measures increase the cropping intensity by 120%, productivity of different crops by 15-100% to and increased fodder availability significantly apart from reducing runoff and soil loss. Similarly, in the Lachha Putraghati watershed, with the help of various soil and water conservation measures implemented by the centre, the runoff and soil loss decreased by 31 and 50% respectively besides increase in groundwater table and enhancing productivity of crops. Various livelihood activities in the watershed increase the income level of the resource poor tribal community in the watershed. जेंति फिल्ड चैनल रु पानी आनी देले से द्वारा हमरो सार माने विभिन्न प्रकारो मंजी धनिया मूला गाजर इत्यादि देइ छंती से मंजी को आमे चास करी पानी द्वारा बहुत बेनिफिट पाइछु एवं पहाड रु बरसा पानी टा गोली जाउथिला ट्रेंच माध्यम रे से पानी टा रोई जाउची एवं ताप परिपूर्ण के अमें बहुत उपकृत हो चु आओ पानी पीवा पानी नो थिला पीवा पानी पाइप जोगे आनी दे चुनती आओ गांरो समस्या जुड़ा थिला से समाधान ही पारुची आओ उन्हें को आमों ग्राम और इतिबा ऐसे जो ग्रुप माने को गाई छड़े मेंढा कुकुड़ा 
मेसीन महू चाष कर मुमर सुनावड़ा सोएल कंजरवेसन अफिस् धन्यवाद जनावि आम लक्ष्मी ग्राम तरफ रु गोटे छुआ गोटे गाई गोटे दे आम दस के जी लाख क्षीर दे से क्षीर जाक समस्त लोग बंटा कर बचुचु The center has undertaken several outreach programs to create mass awareness about the technologies related to conservation of soil and water and watershed management in the Eastern Ghats. These include field demonstrations, Farmers Day, National Resource Conservation Week, National Science Day, National Biodiversity Day, etc. The research center collaborates with the state agricultural universities and other R&D organizations. developmental departments ngos and other agencies working in the region for promoting resource conservation and maintaining ecosystem integrity in recognition of their outstanding contributions and achievements the scientists of the research center have been honored with several prestigious awards the research center at koraput in orissa under the central soil and water conservation research and training institute deradun is dedicated to evolve appropriate strategies for eco restoration tackling land degradation problems improving productivity food security and economic status of the farmers of the eastern ghats region of india